What is going on guys, you're watching Dev Dreamer and welcome to lesson 33 in our JavaScript series. In this lesson, we're going to be learning all about maps and weak maps. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Also be sure to ring that bell and choose all notifications so you never miss an update. Okay, so welcome back to lesson 33. So in the previous lesson then, we learned all about sets and weak sets. And we saw that a set was basically a collection of values where by default each value can only appear once. In this lesson we're going to be covering maps and weak maps. So first of all then, what exactly is a map? Well in JavaScript a map is a collection of keyed data items similar to an object, but the main difference between a map and an object is that a map allows keys of any type. So we haven't looked at objects in too much detail just yet, but basically an object will convert keys to strings whereas a map will not. So let's make sense of all this then by looking at some code. So first of all then, the first thing I want to do is I want to add an example of an object. So here let's just say example object and then down here I'm going to create a variable and we're going to assign this to curly braces and this is how we create an object literal in JavaScript and then in between these curly braces we're going to create some name value pairs. So for the first one I'm going to say name which is going to be a string and we're going to say Sonic We'll say platform, which will also be a string. This is going to be Sega. And then finally, we'll say year and assign this to 1991. So this is a basic example of a JavaScript object. So to create a map, it's very similar to how we created a set in the previous lesson. We simply create a variable. So I'm going to say let game map this time. And we're going to assign this to new map. So if you console.log this, so say console.log game map and save. In the console you can see we've got the word map and this map currently has no entries or no properties. So the way that we add information inside of our map is by using the map method called set. So down here I'm going to say we'll say game map dot set and then inside this we need to specify our name value pairs. So for the first one I'm going to say name as a string and then we say comma space and now this is the value that name will refer to. So here I'm going to say Sonic the Hedgehog. So now if we save we can see in the console that this time our map contains a value that has the property of name as a string and the value is Sonic the Hedgehog. Let's go ahead and add two more. So down here we can say game map.set and as mentioned earlier, with maps, we're not strictly limited to just using strings. So we can do something like the number three, and the value of this is going to be the number three. And finally, let's do one more. We'll say game map.set, and let's go for a boolean. So here we're going to say true will be the name, and the value will be boolean. Okay, so let's save and let's see what we get. So now we have a map that includes three values. Sonic the Hedgehog, the number three, and Boolean. So to reiterate then, the main difference between a map and an object is that a map allows keys of any type. So here we use a string, a number, and a Boolean. Okay, let's take a look at some more methods that we have available to us. So down here we'll say game map dot get. So here what we're doing then is we're going to be using the name, so either the string name, the number three, or the Boolean true to pull out the relevant value. So if we said get three like this and just store this in a variable, so let's just say let get info and then down here if we console.log get info like so, the console returns the number three. So the number three is the value that is mapped to this name. Again to show you if we change this to name like so, now we get the value Sonic the Hedgehog. Now we can also check to see if our map contains a value by using the has method. So down here let's say let and we'll call this has info. I'm going to assign this to game map dot has and again let's go for name. So what we're doing here then is we're checking to see if our map contains this name. Let's go ahead and console.log this. Just replace this one now. Perfect, and the console returns true because it's true, this map does contain this name. Another thing we can do is we can delete information from inside of a map. So down here I'm going to say let delete info. I'm going to assign this to game map dot 
delete and let's delete this third value here so we're just going to say true now let's save and now you can see in the console our map contains two items as opposed to three we can also use the size property to identify how many values are inside of our map so down here we'll just consider it like this straight away and um, we're going to say game map size like so let's save and the console returns two because there are two values inside of our map okay let's get rid of all these and let's add some new values inside of here okay so we've got three new values now i want to take a look at how to iterate over a map so when it comes to iteration maps have three methods that we can use okay and they are called keys values and finally entries let's see how these all work so we're going to be using a normal for of loop here so we're going to say for parentheses curly braces and inside of a parentheses here we're going to say let we'll call this variable key so let key of because we're doing a for of loop so let key of and then i'm going to say game map which is the name of our map and i'm going to say dot keys like so now what we can do inside of our curly braces is we can just say console.arg and then the name of our value which is key so let's save this and in the console what this refers to then is the key or the name so here we've got sega snes and ps and that's what we've got over here so we can use the built-in keys method to refer to these keys the next method values refers to these values so let's just uh, go ahead and copy this and paste this in let's give us some space as well let's change this from keys to values this time and just for consistency let's go ahead and change the name of our variable to value save and now we've looped over the values of our map so some of the hedgehog super mario and spyro by using the values method okay so keys pulls out the keys values pulls out the values what about this last one entries so let's say four parentheses curly braces and inside here we can use the entries method to refer to both of these so here i'm going to say let and as an array let's go for let's just say k for keys comma space v for value then the keyword of because again we're using for of loop and then here we're going to say game map dot entries and then in the body here then in between the curly braces we can say console.log and then i'll use template literals to pull our variables in so dollar sign curly braces k and i'll say has the value of v okay let's go ahead and save and check this out guys in the console we get k has the value of v so sega has the value of sonic the hedgehog snes has the value of super mario and ps has the value of spyro so when it comes to iterating or looping through a map these three methods keys values and entries are going to come in very very handy okay so that's all about maps let's now take a look at weak maps and we'll see the difference between the two so in comparison then in weak maps the keys so these things here they must be objects and not primitive values and also weak maps do not support iteration so let's go ahead and create a weak map so down here i'm going to say let weak map be assigned the value of new weak map and as mentioned weak maps must use objects for their keys so let's see what happens if we try to use a primitive value so i'm going to say weak map dot set and let's say name and it's just got for john now if we console dot log weak map let's see what happens save and the console gives us an error and to be honest with you the use of weak maps are going to be quite rare so guys that's all about how to use maps and weak maps in javascript let's go ahead and summarize so maps are basically a collection of keyed data items similar to an object the main difference between a map and an object is that a map allows keys of any type in weak maps the keys must be objects and not primitive values and finally weak maps do not support iteration so we can as we've seen iterate over maps but we can't do that on a weak map okay let's take a look at your tasks for this lesson for task number one i want you to create a map and add the following values so we've got ryu japan ken usa and so on and then for task two i want you to iterate over the values and log them to the console so as always try these out and when we come back we'll take a look at the answers okay so how'd you get on then let's see 
So for task one then, we need to create a map and add the following values. So let's first create our map. So down here, I'm going to say let, and we'll say SF for Street Fighter. And we'll assign this to a new map, like so. And then we need to add these values. So what we'll do is we'll say sf.set. And I'll just copy these in. So we'll say Ryu and Japan. And here, what we can do is rather than doing all these on a single line, we can actually chain these just like we did with the set. So here we can say dot set and then just pull in the next value and so on. So the next one is going to be Kyle USA. And finally, dot set blanket and Brazil. Okay, let's just make sure everything's working fine. So we'll say console.log sf. Let's take a look. Perfect. And so we have a map with one, two, three, four values. Okay, so for task two then, we need to iterate over these values and log them to the console. So remember, there's a number of ways that we can do this. We can use the values method so that we pull out each of these values, right, these countries. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the entries method so we can use both. So down here, I'm gonna say four, and we'll say let character, and we'll say country of sf.entries, and then we'll do curly braces, and console.log character, so this will be Ryu, Ken, Kyle, etc., is from country. So let's go ahead and save. And in the console, then we get Ryu is from Japan, Ken is from USA, and so on. Now we can also here just use a regular for of loop. We don't necessarily need to use the map methods. So down here, I could say for parentheses, curly braces, and we'll just say x of sf. And then down here, we can just console.log x. Let's save. And in the console, this returns to us each of our key value pairs. So guys, well done on completing those tasks. That's it for this lesson. In the next lesson, we're going to be learning all about what some have called the most important concept to learn when it comes to JavaScript. Some have said that if you want to master JavaScript, then you need to make sure you master the next thing that we're going to be learning about. And that next thing is functions. We'll start with the basics and we'll go right the way up to all the advanced stuff. Okay guys, so be sure to tune in. Don't forget to comment, share, like and subscribe down below and I'll see you on the next one.